welcome for a morning prayer on this Friday, the 11th of September. Through Christ, let us offer up a sacrifice of praise to God, the, lip, the fruit of lips that acknowledge his name. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. We have complete freedom to go into the most holy place by the means of the death of Jesus. He opened for us a new way, a living way, through the curtain, through his own body. Since we have a great high priest set over the household of God, let us draw near with a sincere heart and a sure faith, with hearts that have been made clean from a guilty conscience, and bodies washed with pure water. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. There are two psalms appointed for this morning, Psalm 28 and Psalm 29. To you will I cry, O Lord, my rock, be not deaf to my prayer, lest if you turn away silent I become like those who go down to the grave. Hear the voice of my supplication when I cry to you for help, when I lift up my hands toward the holiest place of your sanctuary. Do not snatch me away with the ungodly, with the evildoers, who speak peace to their neighbours but nourish malice in their hearts. Repay them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavours. Requite them for the work of their hands, and give them their deserts. For they pay no heed to the Lord's acts, nor to the operation of his hands. Therefore shall he break them down, and not build them up. Let the Lord's name be praised, for he has heard the voice of my supplication. The Lord is my strength and my shield, in him will I trust, and I am helped. Therefore my heart dances for joy, and in my song will I praise him. The Lord is the strength of his people, and a sure refuge for his anointed king. O oh, save your people, and give your blessing to your own. Be their shepherd, and bear them up for ever. Psalm 29 Ascribe to the Lord, you powers of heaven. Ascribe to the Lord glory and might. Ascribe to the Lord the honour due to his name. O worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord upon the great waters. The voice of the Lord is mighty in operation. The voice of the Lord is a glorious voice. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedar trees. The Lord breaks in pieces the cedars of Lebanon. He makes them skip like a calf. Lebanon and Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord divides the lightning flash. The voice of the Lord whirls the sands of the desert. The Lord whirls the deserts of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord rends the terebinth trees and strips bare the forests. In his temple all cry glory. The Lord sits enthroned above the water flood. The Lord sits enthroned as a king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will give to his people the blessing of peace. Holy God, through your beloved Son, you reconciled all things to yourself, making peace by the blood of his cross. Fill us and those for whom we pray with your peace and joy, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The first reading comes from the second book of Chronicles, chapter 36, verses 15 to 23. The Lord the God of their ancestors, 
sent persistently to them by his messengers because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. But they kept mocking the messengers of God, despising his words and scoffing at his prophets until the wrath of the Lord against his people became so great that there was no remedy. Therefore he brought up against them the king of the Chaldeans, who killed their youth with a sword in the house of their sanctuary, and had no compassion on young man or young woman, the aged or the feeble. He gave them all into his hand. All the vessels of the house of God, large and small, and the treasures of the house of the Lord, and the treasures of the king and of his officials, all these he brought to Babylon. They burned the house of God, broke down the wall of Jerusalem, burned all its palaces with fire, and destroyed all its precious vessels. He took into exile in Babylon those who had escaped from the sword, and they became servants to him and to his sons until the establishment of the kingdom of Persia, to fulfill the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah until the land had made up for its Sabbaths. All the days that it lay desolate it kept Sabbath, to fulfil seventy years. In the first year of King Cyrus of Persia, in fulfilment of the word of the Lord spoken by Jeremiah, the Lord stirred up the spirit of King Cyrus of Persia, so that he sent a herald throughout all his kingdom, and also declared in a written edict, Thus says King Cyrus of Persia, The Lord, the God of heaven, has given me all the kingdoms of the earth, and he has charged me to build him a house at Jerusalem, which is in Judah. Whoever is among you of all his people, may the Lord his God be with him. Let him go up. The second reading comes from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 28, verses 1 to 16. After he had reached safety, he then learned that the island was called Malta. The native showed us unusual kindness. Since it had begun to rain and was cold, they kindled a fire and welcomed all of us around it. Paul had gathered a bundle of brushwood and was putting it on the fire when a viper, driven out by the heat, fastened itself on his hand. When the natives saw the creature hanging from his hand, they said to one another, This man must be a murderer. Though he has escaped from the sea, justice has not allowed him to live. He, however, shook off the creature into the fire and suffered no harm. They were expecting him to swell up or drop dead, but after they had waited a long time and saw that nothing unusual had happened to him, they changed their minds and began to say that he was a god. Now, in the neighbourhood of that place were lands, were lands belonging to the leading man of the island, named Publius, who received us and entertained us hospitably for three days. It so happened that the father of Publius lay sick in bed with fever and dysentery. Paul visited him and cured him by praying and putting his hands on him. After this happened, the rest of the people of the island who had diseases also came and were cured. They bestowed many honours on us, and when we were about to sail, they put on board all the provisions we needed. Three months later, we set sail on a ship that had wintered at the island, an Alexandrian ship with the twin brothers as its figurehead. We put in to Syracuse and stayed there for three days. Then we weighed anchor and came to Rigium. After the one day there, a south wind sprang up, and on the second day we came to Petelio. There we found believers and were invited to stay with them for seven days. And so we came to Rome. The believers from there, when they heard of us, came as far as the Forum of Appius and three taverns to meet us. On seeing them, Paul thanked God and took courage. When he came into Rome, Paul was allowed to live by himself with the soldier who was guarding him.
May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Jesus, Saviour of the world, we come to, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Saviour and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Today, in the Anglican cycle of prayer, uh, in particular in Australia, we remember Mother Esther, CHN, who was the founder of the Community of the Holy Name in Melbourne in and died in 1931. O oh God, whose blessed Son became poor, so that we through his poverty might become rich, deliver us from an inordinate love of this world, so that, inspired by the devotion of your servant, Mother Esther, we may serve you with singleness of heart and attain to the riches of the age to come. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O Lord Jesus, who art the only health of all living and the everlasting life of those who die in thy faith. We give ourselves wholly unto you, being sure that the thing cannot perish which is committed into thy mercy. Heavenly Father, we continue to offer our prayers and we pray for the world for the whole of the created order we pray for a mind that is set on fulfilling your will and purpose taking seriously the charge that you give us to be good stewards of the creation Lord help us to act in ways that maintain the web of life that interconnected network of things in the understanding that when we do damage in one area, we actually impact our own survival. Lord, we pray for our nation. We pray for its various forms of government at the federal, state and territory levels. We pray for local government. We pray for the wisdom of your spirit to guide those who have the decision-making power at various levels of government. We pray for considerate and compassionate hearts, minds and hearts open to hear what is being said, to comprehend it and to act in positive ways, to find that which is fulfilling your will and purpose, that your kingdom may come on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, we continue to offer prayers for all who are most impacted by COVID-19. We thank you for the continuing uh, lack of community transmission in South Australia. We pray for the people of Victoria still experiencing a fairly hard lockdown. We pray for the people of New South Wales and Queensland where there is still community transmission. Well, we pray for those who are given the authority to act in ways to get this under control. And we pray, Lord, that the numbers 
of new infections may be reducing in each of those states. We pray for those who have uh, suffered at home because they live alone. We pray for their mental well-being. We pray for acts of kindness that connect them with community. Lord, we pray for ourselves and for each other. We pray for your church throughout the world. We pray particularly for the Anglican Church, for our Archbishop Justin Welby. And today we pray for the Diocese of Osun, Northeast in Nigeria, and Bishop Ebenezer Akaridi Okoyala, the Diocese of Cashel and Osori in Ireland, and Bishop Michael Andrew James Burroughs, the people and clergy of those dioceses. We pray for the Anglican Church here in Australia. We pray for the Primate Jeff, for the Diocese of Gippsland and Bishop Richard Trelaw. We pray for the Church here in South Australia, for our Metropolitan Archbishop Geoffrey Smith and Lynn, for the Diocese of Adelaide, the Assistant Bishops, Chris, Tim and Denise, for Anglicare SA Residential Aged Care Chaplains, Samson Azarafatham and Gethsthi, Carol Cornwell and John, Piers Davy and Helen, Marion Giles and Graham Head. We pray for the Diocese of the Murray, Bishop Keith and Alice, for the Upper Limestone Coast, Narracord and Father Wayne Corker. We pray for this Diocese of Wallachra, myself as Bishop and for Jan, for the parish of the Copper Coast, its parish priest, the Reverend Canon Alan Ali Worm, the local priest Trevor Briggs and Anne, and the people of Kandina, Munta and Wallaroo. We give thanks for the partnership in cooperation with the Anglican Board of Mission, with the Diocese of Mandalay, for Bishop David Nini Yang, Mary and Solomon, for St Luke's Parish, Lynn Key Township. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit, that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. Peace be to us all and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, may God bless you today and uh, see you again tomorrow, hopefully. Bye-bye.